was born in Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic in uh, a city of Zhytomyr. My mom grew up in the family where her mom was a Christian, but her dad wasn't. One year, it was during her cousin's funeral who got killed in a motorcycle accident. She got saved, she accepted Jesus. And having that first love for Jesus, she was witnessing working in the military hospital. And when the um, authority found out about that, they called her in and they said that you cannot do that. They gave her two choices, whether she's going to prison or whether she's going to mental institution. So my mom chooses to go to prison. At that time, she met her future husband who lived in a different city and they got married and they lost the track of him. While some new churches are being built and others, mostly Russian Orthodox, have been allowed to reopen, many other congregations are denied recognition and therefore legality. The Ukrainian Catholic Church, the Uniat Church, is still closed, outlawed, and persecuted. Religious instruction of children outside the home, Sunday schools, Hebrew schools, or even confirmation classes and the production of religious study material are all still illegal activities. It was illegal for my parents to take me to church because children, I mean, could have been taken away from them if someone were to catch them. But they just had faith and took that risk. I remember teacher was giving us an assignment to write a letter to President Reagan and asking him to stop the war. So I remember being a little girl and writing that, but at the same time I had doubts. I did not believe that. Deep down I just did not believe it, but I had to write an assignment. For over 40 years, the United States led the West in the struggle against communism and the threat it posed to our most precious values. This struggle shaped the lives of all Americans. It forced all nations to live under the specter of nuclear destruction. That confrontation is now over. It was during the time when Soviet Union fell apart, the early 90s, and uh, doors to Ukraine were open to missionaries. Little by little, I just fell in love with people from America. And, um, you know, I never missed an opportunity after service to go and greet them and just say something in English. And it was one day I met a group of people downtown my city. And those ended up being missionaries. So I start talking to them, we introduced each other, and they wanted to meet my family. 
So I was all excited and went and told my parents. But it was during that time when everything was really tough. Soviet Union fell apart and chaos in the country, you know, instability. Uh, my parents would not get paid for several months. But yes, they wanted to meet Americans. They wanted to host them, so they went and borrowed money from the neighbors. And my mom made a big meal and hosted them and we just had a great fellowship and shared. That's when I, for the first time, met Americans and confirmed what it was back in my mind during the time when I was asked to write that letter to President Reagan. Those are nice people, you know, just like us. They did not want no war. I saw that people were coming to my country to share Christ, but they were not able to speak the language. And how could me be able to understand and not, you know, serve and help them to share the Word of God with my people? And it was those people who actually saw a need in my mom for a hip replacement. And they organized everything. They organized everything and made it possible. Eventually, five years later, bring her to America and have a hip replacement. I'm grateful for my parents who pass on to me their love for Jesus and their faithfulness, despite the persecution that they went through, they stood strong. The history of the 20th century has too often been brutal and tragic, but it has taught us one lesson that should fill our hearts with hope and joy, for we found that the more religion is oppressed, the greater the attempt to extinguish that life principle, that divine spark, the more it glows. Today, um, where uh, my mom was persecuted, where the military hospital was, stands a church. And uh, years later, my mom got to walk through the same holes and give her testimony.